this video where I'm going over the Los Angeles Chargers offense. Got a little mini scheme for you here today. If you guys want to check out my full Chargers offensive ebook, that is going to be available by becoming a member of our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll put a link to that in the description down below if you guys want to sign up. That's where you're going to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden 25 and for College Football 25. And we're going to be talking today about the Chargers offense. I think that the Chargers offense is one of the more underrated uh, offenses just in general this year. And so I wanted to do kind of an in-depth breakdown on their offensive playbook because I think there's a lot of people that are going to ultimately end up in this in this defense or in this offense. And the reason why, a couple things to note about this playbook, now that we can set our audibles kind of in practice mode, it really does open up a lot of things for us offensively. It just makes it so that you can have a more, what I would say is like full-fledged kind of complete offense. So the audibles or the main formations that we're going to be coming coming in or uh, going over today is we're going to be taking a look at the bunch strong offset, the bunch X nasty, which is going to be the main formation, and then uh, tight open. And then they have some other kind of stuff around this. But in general, it's mainly Bunch Strong and Bunch Act Nasty. Those are the two real good formations in this. So for Bunch Strong Offset, uh, typically what I like to do with this formation is I like to come out in Bunch Strong Offset and I'll audible into kind of my tight open or my Bunch Strong Nasty. So you see here we have kind of some standard tight open audibles. And then for Bunch X Nasty, and this is the main reason you run this playbook, it's for this play motion cross post. So we're going to put that... We're actually going to put that in this top slot here. And then we're going to kind of build everything around this play. So again, motion RPOs, motion RPO uh, zone alert. Let me see if I can have that, that play here. Yeah, motion, motion RPO zone alert. That's our run play out of this. We're basically building around this motion scheme. And then we do have mesh corner, which is a good play. But pretty much, let's go back out here and just kind of check the motion motion corner under. I'm going to take a look at that play as well. Uh, motion corner, if I can find that. Motion corner under. And then pretty much from there, there's a return motion that you can do. Return spot would probably be return whip trail. There's a lot of crazy plays um, in, this, in this formation. I think we're going to go with this return whip uh, this return whip trail play. Now, in Bunch Strong Offset, uh, again, you got to have some some unique plays here. So what I like to do in my audibles, from an audible perspective, to make sure we're just kind of utilizing the best sake of this, is I like this um, RPO Duo Alert Post play. I really like this red zone PA corner. And then from there, uh, kind of up to you, pretty much what I like to do is have – I like to come out in the play corner strike – but then I have Flood and Dagger uh, that I can get to. So you'll see here, let's get Dagger in the audibles. Let's get Flood in the audibles. And then we're going to be coming out in the play, um, if I can find it, Corner Strike. Now, so as far as this goes, I do have other videos and a full ebook on Bunch Strong. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about Bunch Strong. We're going to mainly talk about Bunch X Nasty. But in Tight Open, it's kind of one of those just good mix informations. There's nothing... You know, super crazy out of this, but it's a two by two tight set, which is which is always good. And then this this uh, tray offset formation, you have this RPO alert screen in here, and then you can kind of build around around that, right? If you want to have Y sale, I think Y sale is pretty good. Read option, pretty much whatever you want to do. I don't go to this formation a ton, but it does have verticals with drag, which is good. Uh, level sale is good, and then the slot underplay, I probably would maybe just use shot slot post or really whatever play you want to use here. Deep dig looks kind of crazy with that deep corner route. But basically just pick a play that has a route that you like, and then you can kind of build around that. For me, I'd probably honestly, with the way this is looking, just go with this RPO power alert screen so you have two different types of runs. To me, that's all you really need to do. And then under center, if we just want to peek at like, a, like an under center run set, you have – you know, tight doubles down here, nothing crazy. So anyways, we're going to come out of Bunch Strong, and we're going to be coming out in Corner Strike. So kind of some key setups here from this is we're going to be we're going to be streaking this. Uh, we're going to be having this high-low read here out of Corner Strike, one of my favorite plays really in the game this year. Just streak this slot receiver. And then on the left side, if you want to, you can just kind of create a combo like this if you want. 
and just have a simple high-low read. A lot of times in this game, guys, this drag is wide open, so you always want to be looking to that kind of backside. And then you have um, you have this play flood as well, so you can kind of stem the corner route down and run the high-low read like this, and then you kind of have that backside in route if you want to hit that. The other thing about this flood play that's really good is what eventually they're going to do is they're going to start shading underneath a lot. If you're getting a zone look, you can just run a play like this. And essentially, this tight end is going to almost always be open. So you have that read. And then if you were to do that, let's say you were to do that, but let's say you're on the, on the short side of the field and your opponent ran cover two, you'll see that this outside fade is basically going to be a touchdown. At least I <laughs> will try it one more time. So we'll go flood, flip the play. If you wait on this long enough, you'll get a nice, you'll get a nice hit here. Free form all the way to the left side, and there you see there's the the rat catch. And if we were able to get out of there, that's gonna be a touchdown, right? Um, another one of the plays that I wanted to go over with you guys is out of really any of these plays. But what I like to do is streak. I'm gonna reek one around this guy and turn this into basically mesh spot. And the reason I like this combo right here is I think this is one of the hardest combos to switch stick in the game. And a lot of times this little drag is going to be right there for you. So this is some of my favorite plays out of bunch strong offset. Um, dagger, one of my favorite things to do with dagger here is to drag the slot post this outside guy and basically turn this into drive from college football 25. You'll see this post kind of gets into a real soft spot of the defense. And they're going to basically have to choose between the post, the drag, or the tight end over the middle of the field. And then the uh, C route at a corner strike. The biggest thing with this is one of the cool things you can do is you see how I can stem kind of this in route. So if we wanted to turn this into like an inverted streak, you totally could do that. So you see here kind of an inverted streak. But then look at the C route on that left side. That C route gets underneath the outside quarter a lot. So you'll see here. If I wanted to have that kind of C route, really nice read to be able to have in your playbook. And then let's say that they, you know, and you're getting this a lot right now in this game, getting a lot of cover two. So if they do go cover two, then we can just check down to the back, out of the backfield. So this is another way that I'll kind of mix things in. And then, you know, something I'm trying to think what I'd actually, actually call. Let's go over this red zone PA corner play. So the reason this play is good is you have a post on the back side, and then you also have this C route. So what I like to do is streak my tight end, and then we're gonna corner route the slot and stem him all the way down. So you see it looks like this. And essentially what's gonna happen is this C route almost always will be open. Gotta throw that a little bit better, but that C route will kind of be open in this little window. Let me try to show that a little bit better. And it's really hard to switch stick the C route. So you'll see here, I'll kind of just run that little pocket. And then obviously if, you know, he's, if they switch to, to that route or if he's just not open for whatever reason, right, then you are going to be able to throw your corner route, which that quarter flood actually played out of his mind there. So you see here, you can kind of throw that corner route to the sideline. So super hard to defend everything on this play, which is ultimately why you would run this. Another play that I think I actually really do like this play, it's this double corner, but the way that I like to run it now is we're going to stem the second corner up even more, so maybe one, at least one tick more. And the purpose of that second corner route is for cover uh, two. So you'll see against cover two, super deep corner route just kind of gets into a spot where it's really hard to guard. And then the reason, the other reason why you would want to do something like that is because if they do run like a cover two, or not a cover two, a cover three, and let's say they switch stick, you see that the only player that can defend that is the outside quarter. So let's say they switch stick to that quarter to take away the to take away the shorter corner route. A lot of times they'll think he's a seam streak, right? They'll think that this is a seam streak. But it's not. It's a it's a corner. So, you know, snap this ball, and they switch stick over here. It's hard, super hard to show with two controls. But basically, they switch stick to that outside guy, 
and then you can you can throw that deeper corner out over the top. So that's one of those plays that I just like to have um, the ability to hit. And if you wanted to, you could. You don't have to have a streak. And so it kind of looks like he's going to be on the same streak, right? And then also if if they kind of play more disciplined coverage, then you can just throw that. Another thing that is coming uh, really popular for people to do is they really like to switch stick onto the flat route and basically make the flat route into like a cloud flat. So what I'll do in situations like that is I'll sneak the back out of the backfield. And if they switch stick instantly, I'll just check it down to the back and just take what the defense gives me. It's something little, but it is an effective way to play. Another combo that I like out of this, uh, if we go back to dagger, the reason I like to use this combo, and, and if I could, I would have a slot apprentice on my field and use a slot crossing route, but I, I don't have that. So what I like to do is basically just the old school Durham setup. And you can use like a stemmed in route. I actually think that's better for man. But for zone, I would just keep the post. But essentially, we're really looking for that running back. And then if they use that running back or switch stick to it, that's going to be open over the middle of the field. So that's pretty much what I do for bunch strong. And now I want to show you the audibles and really this play motion cross post. So this motion combo here is really good. What I like to do is a simple, honestly, just a simple streak. And we'll just call it like this. And this is really effective specifically for any kind of basic cover two. So, like, I'm not talking about a soft squad. I'll get to that. But I'm just talking about just, like, a basic Tampa 2 drop. You'll see a lot of times this guy will just beat that defender over the top. I don't know why he, don't know why he matched him there. I wonder if that was a soft squad. Soft squads do match. Yeah, that was a soft squad. Let me cloud these guys. Soft squads will match him, and I'm going to talk about how to get around that in a minute. But basically, literally just this right here. And you'll see that the cloud flat, he just will basically ignore him. And this is a touchdown against cover two. So if they run cover two on you, they have to be in a soft squat or they're going to give up a touchdown every time you go to something like this, right? So what I like to do is kind of, I guess, reverse engineer that and say, okay, well, once I, once I know that they're going to struggle to guard this, then I'm going to go to this. Now, the other thing I wanted to say about this is a lot of people – to help defend seam streaks are putting their outside guys in deep halves. So if they do put their outside guys in a deep half, you're going to be able to throw this kind of deep down the sideline like this. This is one of the reasons why this playbook is becoming super popular because you can do stuff like that when they, when you start to notice that they're consistently deep halving to try to guard your seam streaks. So now let's go back to this play motion cross post. All we're doing is streaking the slot receiver. And then if you want to block the running back, be my guest. And now let's talk about like cover four. So what normally is going to happen is the seam streak you can throw in the middle of the field. Was That was actually a really bad example. But if we think about like the dollar meta, if we think about the, do the uh, double mug meta, right, the main openings here is you're going to get a blitz like this, okay? And then this could be – you could get this right here with a yellow or you could get a quarter. But essentially, either way, this streak has a really good chance of splitting the seams. And you can just throw this kind of right in here. And, of course, this guy's going to – this inside there somehow, somehow is going to make a play in Brax move. But in game, in game this, is, this is really open. And let me just show you how this cover three hard flat. We'll show one more time, and then if it doesn't work, we'll talk about – some of the other things you can do out of this. But but basically, this is, you know, you look out here to the left side. Okay, he's covered. Okay, that's open. And then normally you can do this high-low over the middle of the field with this with this little motion cross. So that's why this play is, in my opinion, one of the better plays in the game. And then against man coverage, which you are starting to see a lot of people kind of go back to man coverage, you see here that it can sometimes just break man coverage, as you can see. And this guy can just basically cook. Okay, so you have some options. Another thing that a lot of people are doing, which I did want to cover, is, and I'm getting this a lot, this is something I've seen a lot lately, they're running shaded down man with two deep halves, right? That's kind of the main two-man under setup. If you want to, you can put this guy on a stemmed curl, and um, sometimes this curl will get off the press. 
stem them all the way up like a streak basically and then you'll see here that and see how it kind of naturally picks and rubs it and remember that cover two can't defend this so this really kind of funnels and forces them back into that basic cover three shell that basic cover four shell which is where we can manipulate a lot of things. So my next manipulation and something that I like to do here is I really like to streak my tight end, corner out my slot receiver, stem him all the way down, and then I'll block my running back. So it looks like this. And essentially what we're able to do with this, I would drag um, uh, Tyreek Hill. Everything looks exactly the same, right? But now we're just flooding the right side. And a lot of times this throw right here is what you're gonna wanna look for because they're gonna switch stick to the corner route and try to take that away. If they don't switch stick to the corner route, if they don't try to take that away over there on the right-hand side, then you're going to be able to consistently throw your running back or um, your slot receiver. So you see here, I'm going to look my tight end, not open. Look out there, that slot. I want to really freeform that to the outside. And that ag catch, that possession catch has been really, really effective this year. So those are, those are a couple ways that I like to use this motion cross post play. This is pretty much the only play that I'm going to be running out of this. Another one of my favorite manipulations and ways to use this play is we're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to streak our running back, and then we're just going to out route our tight end. So you see it looks like this. This is going to kind of mimic the Durham combo. And what you're going to see here is, again, you have this quick read off this left side, but really the route that you want to hit is this running back route. And so the reason you're calling this play, this is really, really good if somebody's running – kind of the free safety uh, zone blitz from dollar. And the reason why this is going to be really effective against that is because it kind of forces that safety on the left side to make a declaration of who he's going to guard. If you wanted to do like a short corner, you could do like a super short corner, but I think the out route's probably better. And then again, kind of look something like this. So if you watch this running back, a lot of times this running back will be wide open there on the left. In that situation, because I shaded underneath, the hard flat's kind of going out, out and playing really, really, really good. But you also are going to have this cross relate. So, again, as this is kind of setting up here, you'll see that's open. And then if you wait on this crosser, of course, the yellow, just, just the stupid sheds and practice are going to ruin it. Let me just show you out of a cover four. Motion cross post. And and you can also put this guy on a post too. It'll make it get a little bit more vertical. Let's see here. Just kind of throw this right in here. That was the idea. So I really like that combo um, for kind of the way we're playing. Um, let's go ahead and go through this motion RPO zone alert. I feel like this is kind of an underrated one. It's an RPO, so it's a handoff. But then what you can do is it's like a quick flat, and a lot of times this is super open. So this is super hard to defend as well. And again, these are just like little natty plays that when mixed in with kind of your overarching scheme at a bunch strong, I feel like it really makes it hard to, hard to defend this. I mean, this was a shaded down hard flat, and that's going to be consistently open. So I really, really like this little kind of motion RPO zone alert. As far as how do they defend this, um, I'm not honestly sure. I think man's probably the best way. Uh, but then look at this look at this out route. So you see how this is just going to kind of give people problems. It's hard to guard. They're going to have to put a hard flat over there. They're going to have to pass. They're going to have to do things like that. So this motion RPO, I haven't seen a ton of people actually run this. But I feel like this is really good. And, of course, if everything fails, you just hand it off. So... I like this. This is one of my favorite ways to use this this uh, little formation here. Motion corner Y under. We haven't talked a ton about, but you see how we have this little kind of return route here on the left left hand side. So what we're gonna what we're gonna basically do here is we have this little return route. We're gonna use this as kind of a check down, and then what I like to what I like to basically do here is essentially a couple different ways you can run this. But basically, we're just using this tight end corner as our corner out and we'll stem this down a little bit and then we can drag this guy. So you'll see how this kind of plays out, but now it looks kind of like that flat. And then now we're kind of returning and we're getting this really nice like smash return type of route that is really good um, for being kind of like that backside check down type of read. 
in the offense. So you just stem this guy down, streak this guy here, and then I would drag this kind of backside player. And again, you're just kind of reading this high-low here to the right side. Okay, the drag's there. We'll just take the drag. Just take what the defense gives you. It's a big theme this year. It's something you have to figure out how to do. Um, let's go over this return whip. So this is, again, this is kind of like that smash return type of concept. What I love to do with this is streak and drag. I think this is a really good way to run this play. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry. I messed it up. Let me, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Is that the – oh, the tight end is on the return route. Okay. Well, basically, this is how I still want to run the play. So, anyway, what you're going to see is you're going to get this return, but then it's going to be like that smash return route. So, it beats man really well, and it just gets into a super soft spot against every defense that I've seen. So, these are some of my favorite ways to – to basically utilize this offense. I really, really like this motion cross play. Another underrated setup for this motion cross play would be a streak, a flat, and then basically you see how this tight end is going to kind of round into an in route almost. I would just have a stemmed post like down like this, and this will space out really, really well. So you'll see here your two seam reads, your running back, and then your tight end is kind of your check down. But really – the main read is really that route right there. So these are kind of some of my favorite plays from the Chargers playbook. I think that this bunch X nasty is really good, especially these motion plays. These auto motion plays are really good this year. So you want to be checking these out. And again, if you want to check out my entire Chargers offensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll put a link in the description down below to go check that out. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So make sure that if you're not a member yet, you sign up today for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description below.